the Bible is very clear on what love is. Not only is God love. So when somebody says that this is the this is what love is, and a Christian is aligning themselves with this, they're actually saying, oh, I don't believe that God is love. I believe that love is love. The Bible is adamant on teaching Christians exactly what love is so that you can be that in the lives of people, but not only that, even before your God. Like this is this is actually what identifies you from the very world and says that you truly are a child of God, which is why it's literally one of the very first fruits of the spirit, which the Bible requires for believers to have. So anyone who is aligning with this is a contradiction. Also, if we look at 1 Corinthians chapter chapter 13 and read exactly what love is it says that it's patient it says that it's kind it says it holds no record of wrong not only that it literally says that it's long suffering oh wait hold on it also says that it's not proud so here you are as a christian aligning yourself with this right here their love is proud you are a contradiction from that which you literally say you believe you cannot say that you align with the world's love and then say that you have God's love. That ain't it. That ain't how it work. You know, it's interesting, too, that these people who claim to have the love of God, if they actually took what the biblical definition of love is they and put two and two together and see that the Bible also says that God resists the proud, they would do everything true love. That true love of God would actually make them chase after that which they claim they support the community they claim they support and try to preach the actual love of Jesus Christ. Not only just preach it, but live it, be it. The Bible is very clear. And I know that there are many Christians who are like, hey, you know, it's interesting how y'all just wanna pick out one sin. Well, guess what? What's the sin that is literally glorified this month? and has its own specific month, not just pride, but sexual immorality, and literally celebrates rebelling against the very authority of God. So if you as a believer can't see this as an opportunity by God himself, hey, the Bible also says, to whom much is given, much is required. With that, please know that you, if you get before God and he asks you, why didn't you tell about my son? You'll never be able to utilize the excuse of I didn't have the opportunity. Because what if he says, well, I gave you June. What do you mean you gave me June? They were celebrating pride and my word says that I resist the proud. What were you doing? My son died so that you could use your mouth and proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. He takes this very seriously. Anyway, God bless you guys. It's time to get with the program.